when you scan a twin pregnancy one of the most important questions to answer early is are they sharing a placenta that's where the t sign becomes your key clue using a high frequency probe focus on the membrane placenta junction and look for a thin straight intertwined membrane absence of placental wedge tissue a perpendicular t insertion forming a t shape is what the sign stands for the t sign is a sonographic marker of monochorionic diamniotic twins that share a single chorion and placenta but have two separate amniotic sacs it is called the t sign because at the point where the dividing membrane meets the placenta the junction forms a t shaped angle instead of a triangular peak sign seen in dichorionic twins let's compare the t sign and the lambda sign in dichorionic diamniotic twins the intertwin membrane is thick formed by two chorions and two amnions and placental tissue extends between them that's the twin peak or lambda sign in monochorionic diamniotic twins the membrane is thin made of two amniotic layers only and it inserts at a straight angle into the placenta forming the t sign identifying monochorionicity early is vital because these pregnancies carry unique risks like twin to twin transfusion syndrome selective intrauterine growth restriction twin anemia polycythemia sequence and increased perinatal morbidity accurate early diagnosis allows for specialized surveillance and timely intervention when performed before 14 weeks the t sign has over 95% accuracy for predicting monochorionicity if the t sign is present label the pregnancy as monochorionic diamniotic and plan follow up scans every 2 weeks from 16 weeks onwards as per international society for ultrasound in obstetrics and gynecology icu and aium guidelines in summary t sign equals monochorionic diamniotic twins whereas twin peak sign equals dichorionic diamniotic twins determine chorionicity early it changes management and outcomes if it is not possible to determine chorionicity by transabdominal ultrasound imaging this should be attempted using transvaginal sonography if it is still not possible to determine chorionicity a second opinion should be sought from a tertiary referral center if the center is uncertain about the chorionicity it is safer to classify the pregnancy as monochorionic at a time at which chorionicity is determined amniotic that is whether or not the twins share the same amniotic sac should also be determined and documented for more insights into early pregnancy ultrasound markers subscribe to my channel and stay tuned